Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to July. Happy summer, everyone who may or may not be in uh, in high school right now. It is it is now summer. Everyone is out of school. Absolutely fantastic, which means I can now focus on just about anything I would like to, with of course some exceptions. But <clears throat> welcome, welcome to uh, the schedule for July, 2018. And uh, we have a lot to get through today. There's some things I was thinking about in my head. If you were following me on Twitter, I tweeted it last night. All of the things for this month's schedule. So that you would get a little bit of an early look at what is what will be going on. <clears throat> and so, let us begin with streaming from Monday to Friday. It's going to be from 1pm to 6.30pm. Now, I was hoping maybe I could go a little bit later. But it occurs to me that sometimes things just don't exactly work out that way. And sometimes I might go a little bit later. Sometimes extra things might just occur. And sometimes I might just forget to stop streaming. And I don't really keep track of time well. But hopefully that's um, five and a half hours on uh, Monday to Friday every single day. Which leaves me with enough time to get what I want to get done in my days, basically. While still having this sort of streaming schedule throughout the regular week. <clears throat> Then we got Saturday, which is what today is, from 2 to 8 p.m. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to actually be able to go through with that. The reason why it's going to be so odd from 2 to 8 p.m. is because before before the stream, I want to get most of the Overwatch video done. And then after the stream, I want to completely get it done entirely. So I'm thinking maybe three hours after the stream is what I'll take to get it completely done and then the entire day before the stream is what I'll get to get it started. So that works out for me and hopefully it works out for you guys too because Saturdays typically people are up the entire day. It's pretty much just no one goes to work day except for very specific things so like services. So 2 to 8 p.m. on Saturday is what is going to be happening next on sunday is 10 30 a.m to 8 p.m now this is basically an entire day stream with a couple of breaks in between so why would i be doing the entire day stream that sounds like complete awfulness and no breaks would be terrible so obviously we're gonna have breaks throughout the day might be an hour break might be two hour break might be just a couple hours to deal with whatever i need to get done with that yeah i don't know what, how else to word this i didn't write a script for this so if I'm not playing a game, and I don't have a script, I don't know how to say words, so hopefully, just by reading this, you guys can understand what's going to be happening on Sundays. Right, so let's move on to the Let's Plays. Let's move on, not Let's move on. We're going to be ending the Sweden Let's Play. No EU4 run this month. There will be no EU4 run, to be more specific, on the YouTube channel. There will definitely still be a run going on periodically throughout the streams. Because if I can get about one or two games done a month, that gives me a good stockpiling to make time lapses with. So, there can't not be a run this month, but there just won't be one on the channel. And if you're wondering, the Sweden one, that's uh, Scandinavia right now, I will not be posting a time lapse of that because essentially, the, when, I, when I look at this, when I look at this game, it just isn't going well entirely. So I'm going to be ending it soon, uh, probably ending off on a low note because, uh, to be honest, things just haven't been going well in the game, so that might just be it. And I was also thinking maybe it's possible if I were to, you know, ramp up my video output, then it's possible to upload twice a day in terms of Let's Plays. And in that case, if I can figure out a way to get that done, to two videos a day, then 100% I can start a new EU4 Let's Play on the channel since uh, all the Twitch live streams are saved and you can cut those into videos however you like, meaning that you can essentially just turn them into videos, fill them on YouTube, and a okay 100%, and it will work just fine. So if I can get that working, two uploads a day, then 100% we can start an EU4 run just because I don't want to clog up the daily things so that um, you have to wait three days for another part of the let's play because that just feels bad I don't know I used to watch people who like do three different series on a channel and then on the third day I'd be like I would wait for that third day because man 
it would excite me, but at the same time, it would frustrate me. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that to you guys. So twice a day is when we can get the third series going. All right, so EU4 time lapses. Welcome to July, where the first day was Canada, Canada Day. <clears throat> and for Canada Day, I posted a picture of a complete Canada game on the EU4 subreddit, which a lot of people absolutely loved because it was just in time for Canada Day. And so we're going to be doing a time lapse of that this month, followed by next month's time lapse, which is going to be Germany, which I think is one of my most impressive plays, one of my uh, playthroughs, I guess, one of the most impressive ones. So yeah, this month though, Canada time lapse is going to be fantastic. All right, next we have these special videos. Of course, I say special videos, but it's not nothing too special. I've been doing this since essentially the last year, which is the four Overwatch videos. And this one, this month. Uh, obviously, you're going to be getting the Summer Games one right around when I uploaded it last year, so that things st stay sort of consistent with that. And uh, other than that, I do have an idea for tomorrow's video, which will be... Well, yeah, you'll, you'll find out, you'll find out. I do have an idea for it, though, so that's going to be easy to make. And then, uh, then we have the game ahead called Strategy Games. So, what is Game Ahead? Uh, well, this is something new that's coming to the channel, uh, which I tried to sort of create last month, but then I couldn't for several reasons. One, because uh, both the games that I wanted to do, we just didn't have enough information on for me to do a full, you know, report on how this game is going to play and like what this game is and why you should play this game, because there's just so far out in the future. One of them was an MMORPG that I was thinking of playing myself and then I picked up Final Fantasy XIV and then I sort of started to lose interest in that other one but in the future of course I might revisit it as it comes closer to uh, release and then for the other game which was Imperator Rome uh, we really only got a look at that because it was at the Paradox Con a couple of weeks ago maybe just a month ago something like that so yeah Paradox Con is when Imperator Rome was revealed and we just really don't have enough information we don't have enough dev diaries if, even if we have dev diaries to uh, really look at the game and to see what parts of it are new how you can compare them to different Paradox games like Hoi 4 or CK2 I don't play with CK2 personally but you know uh, EU4 and all that stuff but right yeah we just don't have enough information on it so at a later date, of course, when we get more information in maybe next year, we will be able to take a look at that. But for Game Ahead, the strategy games, uh, we're going to be picking out one upcoming strategy game. Maybe it is early access on Steam, or maybe it is well established, but is like well, well established is not the word I'm looking for. Well established would be like if people knew about it, but I meant like if it's like out there and the game is actually good, but not a lot of people know about it. Then, of course, we're going to be slapping that game down, making a video about it, and we are going to be, you know, taking a look at it. Right, so, uh, I have other things written down on this sort of document. Photoshop, oh my god. Photoshop document. All right, I have other things written down here. So, random things may come up at times. Of course, I do not live alone in my house. I am still in high school. So, random things may come up at times. That's just how it is. I also live in an area where, congratulations, welcome to Canada, where the only months are winter and construction. So things may get loud at some points and are completely out of my control. Again, things are just like construction. And that being said, random things that come up means sometimes it is things that involve me where I have to go do something. Maybe it's like something I have to go and fix up or clean up or something like that, get ready for something. And that will, of course, take up my time, and uh, um, it might just like run into a stream or something. So if there's going to be a delay on a stream, then there is definitely going to be a real-time update consistently every single time on my Twitter. So I do suggest you guys follow that if you're interested in knowing when the streams are happening and what is going to be on the streams. Essentially, I'll be trying to be more active with that. I'm going to try and actually like use the Twitter on my phone because... I always have my personal Twitter logged into my phone, but I think I'm going to just like log in with the uh, the official channel one, so I can sort of pump out updates whenever you guys need to know when there's going to be a delay or an update. So that is how that's going to happen. And so I will get I will give you guys sort of a warning. There is um, one specific week, July 16th to the 20th, which I will be essentially dead. Like you guys won't really see me at all, except for. Uh, kind of late into the day 
And the reason for that is because, of course, still I'm a high school student, and to graduate you need to get 40, um, 40 hours, 40 volunteer hours. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be volunteering from the 16th to the 20th, and that's going to be interesting. It's going to be like eight hours a day, which is kind of ridiculous. So it's basically I'm back in school for another week, but it's uh, not really as much of a problem. At the same time, it's a little bit of a problem because I wanted to focus on this, but man is going to graduate sometime this year. So, all right. <sighs> Anything else I can possibly think of off the top of my head? Um, no, not entirely. Uh, right, yeah, no, I don't think there's really uh, much else to, to talk about, so I think that's actually going to be it for this update, and I uh, hope you guys are going to keep in touch with the Twitter and with the streaming schedule so that you guys get to know when I'm going to be on Twitch streams and when I'm going to be letting you know when things are happening, what things are happening, and what you can tune into to enjoy. But, of course, this is Carter signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day.